Hey, we're down the street from the Roger Smith Hotel here on 28th Street, 27th Street in Lexington, uh, outside the studio of brick artists, uh, Nathan Sawaya. I'm gonna go check out the studio here, it's pretty cool stuff, so check it out. My name is Nathan Sawaya, uh, I am a brick artist. I spend my day playing with Lego all day. I had been uh, sculpting with more traditional media. Uh, I, I even did a series of sculptures out of candy. And you know, using candy is kind of like using Lego because it was these small little pieces putting together an additive sculpture to create larger forms. And I thought about one day, you know, I have all this Lego from my childhood. What if I use that to create some sculptures? Uh, this is where the magic happens. This is the workspace in here. Almost a million and a half bricks in here. I spend a lot of time in here just building. Variety of works from uh, you know past projects over the years. I was doing really representational type artwork. You know, I just look around my apartment and I would build something out of Lego. I was really honing my skills at that point. You know, I'd try and I had an apple, so I tried to build a giant apple out of Lego. A pencil, so I built this eight foot pencil out of Lego. In the back with the lamp in front of him, that's Stephen Colbert. Uh, then it's myself and my girlfriend. These are all the standard bricks that you could buy in a toy store. Um, it's, it's just regular rectangular bricks. Um, I, I like the rectangular ones because, uh, you know, with my artwork it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of right angles. It's a lot of uh, sharp corners, but it's also all about perspective. So when you back away from those right angles, you see that those right angles kind of blur into curves and make those human forms. So I kind of like using this, the rectangular Lego bricks that we all had as a kid, you know, at least. As I, I was growing as an artist working with Lego, I realized, you know, there's really something to this, so could I start really expressing myself in a different way? And I started doing these human figures completely out of Lego. And, and that's when I really started discovering, you know, how I could put my emotion into my artwork in a way that I'd never seen before. And really take Lego to a place, you know, it's never been before. That's into the Fine Art Museum. Uh, so I've been fortunate enough to put together a whole museum tour that's uh, crisscrossing North America. It's three exhibitions all about Lego artwork that I've created over the past few years. I understand the audience is both, you know, kids and adults. So I do like to put in some of my dramatic pieces, you know, that's where my passion lies. But I also know that a lot of kids are gonna come to these shows because it's Lego. I give it a very simple title, really give the audience a role in interpreting the artwork. Um, for, for me, it was about you know, a struggle that I was going through and, and he's really coming out of something. But a lot of people see this piece as, you know, is he coming up, is he sinking down? Uh, I get a lot of different interpretations about that. There's a piece over here called Blue uh, in which a figure is putting himself together. There is some sort of M.C. Escher type aspect to it, you know, a figure actually building himself. It's about being a self-made man. Sure, here's my card. There you go. 